Hi folks, here we go. My <laughs> diesel eater has decided to give up the ghost and I'm not too sure why. Now, question my lad, because he's a bit of a lazy bugger and he would just knock it off at that switch without powering it down properly. So, um, I'm, I'm going to test the transformer for voltage because there's two errors that, well, I believe this could be two errors. So it could be a glow plug and that could be the point it's, it's either just done a lot of work which it's done a bit it's done a few couple of years or it's been shut down and not cleaned properly um so i'll switch it on and you'll see i'm not going to wait for it to do the full test i'll switch it on if this works okay that's on so i'll give it a sec it does look a bit dull that doesn't it i want it to be transformed because i'm using a transform here I mean, there's a light on and it's powering up the motor and the fan so um, I'll give this a test I'll come back to you in a sec if it comes up with the error and then we'll go from there um, I've I've already looked it up and even on the instructions I've got it tells me that it could be a glow plug error so I've ordered a glow plug but trying to get the tool to get it out is a bit difficult, but I'll let you know how I get on and I'll, I'll video it for you from start to finish. And hold on one second, we'll see if this comes up with an error and I'll show you the error. Okay, I've just turned the flash off so that's a bit better, but error, error 03, which it's actually symbolizing, if you can see it flashing between the dash, between the E and the 03 and the glow plug. So I'm gonna to have to go for go plug. So now whether I have to Take all that, I'll put the flash back on. So whether I have to take all these units apart, which is not a problem, I don't mind doing that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it means I'm doing everything from underneath, or just this cover. Uh, we will see, but it's quite tight in this little toolbox I made it in. Um, but I will test this first, and I'll show you that as I'm, I'm, I'm gonna to test that now. Okay, so we're reading 13.8, so we're fine. That's from the transformer. So that's not going to work. Don't worry about the codes, the yellow and the... It's just something to test the wires with. All right, so... It looks like it could be... Glow plug then. Yeah, look. Right, so it's ordered. He's given the post. The 12 mil one is down the garage being grinded. This came in the post, which is a new... Heater plug, diesel heater plug. <laughs> and you're not going to believe the email I sent. I sent one back saying, I'm afraid it's not usable, it's broken. And uh, the email came back and said, can't you still use it? I went, what? No, <laughs> it snaps it's it supposed to look like that. Not that. So what I'm going to do today is, forget this, have a go at just taking the heater plug out in the diesel heater and cleaning it and replacing it with this atomizer. So the other one could be all carbon double. That'll do, and we'll tidy up with a file. I'm doing the control box. Just an easy way to get to the wire, okay. I just undone four bolts and the exhaust, that's all I did underneath. Okay, the control box, pinch these two together here. And the control box comes off. And this is the one here. So, pull him back. Oh, oh yeah, buggy on time. Okay, hold on. You gotta gently ease off the cap without pulling it or anything like that. Just straight up and then back, all right? This is so delicate, these plugs. If it's full of carbon, I'm gonna to have to take it apart anyway, so. 
There we go. I'll pull it up. Sorry, my hands are in the way. And just gently feed it back. Okay, down the line. Do any pressure on that, okay? I'll take this apart yet. Okay, here's a tool we use. So that slides over there. Should just fit in beautifully. And just gently remove him, and then should be able to unscrew him using the cable but be very careful and there we go okay so now inside there is an it's called an atomizer screen I want to get out and they reckon that sometimes that's one of the problems because it gets all gunged up. So if we can get any focus, can you see that? So that's got to get out. To do that, we use an 8mm bolt. I'll show you that now. Uh, not, not, no, not, this is a bolt. I'll show you. There we go. Well, it's not bad, actually. And it came out quite nicely. So the other thing that could be wrong is the air intake. Oops, I've got that in focus, there you go. Okay, so she's not bad. That's quite clean. Okay, so I did order one of these, but it came broken. And I thought I'd maybe get away with just a clean. I want to show you something. Okay, I don't know if you can see that yet, can you? There, can you see that? Let's try and get that into focus. You need to see this. There you go. A ruddy great big crack. There, see it? So this glow plug is no more. It's pushing daisies. So I'll have to order another one. I don't know where from. I've tried Amazon, but they, that'll take till December. Uh, I'll have to go back off eBay and try again. Hopefully they pack it correctly. That's a look at that. There we go. Okay, so one knackered heater plug. Okay, I'll drop this video on now just to show how to get the plug out. I'm gonna to have to wait a week or so, probably more for a new plug to turn up. All right, so if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Uh, all the jewelry flips down the bottom. Take care and we'll catch you in the next vid.